Leg Game Reviewer, and welcome to my channel. Uh, I downloaded Windows 10, well, I made the upgrade yesterday, and everything went fine, it went perfect. I know there were a lot of problems here and there, like there's a couple of people that reported problems. Uh, thankfully, I did not have those problems. Wow. And this is just like a quick overview, not a review, but a quick overview of Windows 10, and... There's a couple of things I want to talk about it, and it's not really related to gaming, but it is my gaming rig, so indirectly it is, so it's pretty important. So, uh, number one, if you want to download, because when you upgrade the Windows 10, you upgrade it, and that's it. I mean, there's nothing else to it. There's, like, there's no DVDs, there's no CDs, there's nothing of that. There's not even a download, but there is one. Here it is on your screen download Windows 10 like it's all legit here it's all legal and everything so uh, first of all you're gonna need uh, like a DVD or, or a uh, like a USB drive or whatever <clears throat> and before you begin blah 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 system requirements and make sure you have you know that kind of bullshit and the Windows product key yes the one that from your Windows 7 or your Windows 8.1 or 8 or whatever if you have that you'll be able to make the upgrade really really easily it's pretty easy, you just go on your download tools, um, well, yeah, before I go there, because I gotta make a shout out, and there's a specific reason for that, I was looking for wallpapers, and I found one, and oh my god, I gotta use this, and I gotta make a shout out because of this, but, like, the interface is pretty good, I mean, you got the search here, which you can search for anything, like, I don't know, notepad, whatever, like, there it is. Um, you got your taskbar, you got everything, like, it's, everything is... It's almost like the Windows 7 or, or 8.1 kind of functionality. Um, you got your most used ear. The settings is there. And this is where my rant starts. And this is where I, I hate it. For example, if you want to look at your device manager like or event viewer, for example. So you got to go here. You got to go on click about. You got to click on device manager. Lots of clicks just for device manager. Why can't I take the device manager for whatever reason? If I want to look at it each day, I want to put it there. Or... I don't know, like you go on settings and you go to admin tools and you go on event viewer. Why can't I take this and put it on the system's main page? I want to do that. I want to make it easier and quicker. I can't do that. This pisses me off. But it's not with Windows 10. It's with all the fucking Windows system products. Like from, I don't know, Windows 95 or something. Some of them are even worse. So, I don't know. It's... Um, yeah, and Durant here. So, it's it's pissing me off. <laughs> it's really, really ugly. Uh, but then there's this. You know, I'm the kind of guy who goes on my desktop and puts my own shortcuts there. But I'm thinking about it to put it there, because all I have to do is click once, and I got it here. Use the mouse wheel. And probably not even use the mouse wheel, because I can just remove everything. Like my mail, my calendar, Microsoft Edge. I, I, I don't want to use it. Uh, the weather, I don't care. I got all my stuff. Like this is already used by other software or my internet. So I don't need this. I can remove it. Right click, unpin. Calendar, I use the, the Google Calendar. So right click, unpin. And I do this, and I do this, and picture this, whatever. I got my own picture software. OneNote, not even interested. Uh, wait, is this the game or internet? <laughs> whatever, I don't even need it. Uh, I might need this reading camera. I don't need that. Uh, yeah, let's look at it later. I'm not even sure. Cal uh, calculator, really good. So there are a couple of things there. So you just right click on your uh, icon or wherever it is pin to start and boom you're gonna have it you know what let's do this for that and there you go you got it right there VLC why not let's do that my gimp yeah sure why not it's it's really useful uh, snipping tool oh team speak yep yeah. and here you go you can name your groups if you want to and you can do like you can right uh, you, you click on it you hold it down and you can Put it everywhere you want for example and yeah that's basically it for that I, I love this little thing here so my shortcut icons on the desktop may all go away and i might use this instead it's just one click away and i got everything here under a menu uh this might clean up my my desktop that's me though like the option is there i love it and uh yeah let's look at the download tool and i'm gonna make the shout out because of this here I know I have to make a shout out for Demon Ralph because I know he loves anime. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure he said that he loved uh, Dragon Ball Z, and I thought of this. And I'm a PC, uh, I would say Master Race member, whatever. I love PC games a lot. I barely have any console games, PlayStation 2 and Wii. So I don't consider these like top of the line <laughs> consoles. But anyways, little quick shout out for this. If you want it or anyone wants it, uh, I might... I'm gonna put the download uh, like the download link, but just go on Google and search for PC Master Race, and eventually you'll find it. And yeah, so it's the Media Creation Tool X64. Just use the architecture you're using. If you want to know, uh, right-click on my computer, go on Properties, and you're gonna find it. It's either 32-bit or 64-bit, and use the one that you currently have. Once you do this, in about 10 years, you should have a screen that looks like this. If you want to put your Windows CD, your Windows 10 on a CD or USB flash drive, just click on the second link, create installation media for another PC. Select your uh, language, English of course, not Celestia or whatever it is. Uh, the addition should be the one you, that you currently have. So probably Home or Pro, if you got Windows 7 or 8 Home, use the Windows 7 Home. Uh, I don't remember what the end means, but there's a specific meaning to that. But anyways, uh, for me, it's Windows 10. It was Windows 8.1 Pro, so got to use this. Architecture, if you're not really sure if you have 32-bit, but you want to use 64-bit later on for whatever reason, choose both. If not, choose the one that you have. Click Next. Put a USB drive in your, in your computer, and then... Just go with ISO or just go with ISO file. It's gonna ask you what the name is, and that's it. Uh, if not, just use USB flash drive. Well, right now there's no there's no one. No, there's no USB flash drive, but you just put one. It's probably gonna ask you to to format it. I didn't test it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna format it. If not, there's uh, there's a Windows. I'm pretty sure you can type in like how to format usb drive it's i think he uses the uh, the application called disk part if i'm correct let's do that procedure entry point blah 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 yeah it's not perfect uh disk part i believe yeah it is this part and from there you'll be able to yeah it is uh there's a couple of web pages on google that tells you how to format a flash drive and for me, I'm just going to put it on a CD, well, a DVD at this point. So I click ISO, I type the name. It's going to tell you to burn it automatically afterwards. So you just do that. It's pretty simple. It's really not complicated. Yeah, it's going to clean it up. And that's it for Windows 10. I, It's almost the same thing. Oh, wait, yeah, it, it has DirectX 12. So eventually when games will get out and use the uh, Windows, uh, not Windows, but DirectX 12, everything will be there. No really big uh, things out there. I've heard of uh, of the Wi-Fi password thing. I'm not really sure. I didn't take a look at that news. But, uh, oh, yeah, and um, just be sure that if you use, uh, like, your Wi-Fi, just check for that news. I haven't checked it personally. I don't have Wi-Fi, so I don't really care. And it's this is not, a, like, a Windows or, or tech kind of channel, so I'm not even going to cover that. But check for Windows 10, Wi-Fi, Steel, or something like that, and you're going to find it in, like, a couple of articles. If you do not have a Windows product key, you can go here, g2a.com. It's a legit website. Everything's good on that. So just type in, for example, 8.1. You can find it for 43 bucks. It's pretty cheap compared to the version you have on retail store. If you just need a CD key, there you go. You got it there. 28 or, 40, or 43. I, I'm not sure about the differences between those, but click on view and you're going to find it yourself. It's a good website for finding games for really cheap. Yeah, four dollars for Watchdog or twenty-three for uh, Rocket League. I think uh, there's a couple of other games. Well, there's a lot of other games out there. Like I found out, uh, like you can buy Batman: Arkham Knight for twenty dollars. I guess it's it's still there. I think Batman: Arkham Knight Steam CD key eighteen dollars. Yay! Arkham Origin eight dollars. That one's that, well. I personally find it really good. That game is good. But anyways, that's my video for Windows 10. Even though it's not a gaming video, this is my gaming rig. So it's indirectly related to gaming. 
And I just wanted to put out my views on it and how to download the tools because I wondered myself, well, okay, the, 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 I have Windows 10, but how do I download it? How do I, uh, how do I make a backup? And just a little quick tip, if you want to, and if you want to go through the hassle of the upgrade, you know, since it's free, you don't need to buy the hundreds of dollars of Windows 10, which is going to be available shortly, I guess. Uh, make a backup of everything you have. Do a clean install of 8.0 or 7, whatever. Then you automatically did it. Like you automatically make the setup immediately at Windows 10. Then you can take a Cronus or any other backup software. You make a backup of your Windows, and you put it on a like a external hard drive. Or if you want to, you can put it on DVDs, which is kind of take a lot. But anyways, the option is there, and boom, you got yourself a good. Uh, Windows backup and you're not going to need to set it up afterwards or go through the hassle of all of all of that afterwards then you can start reinstalling everything you had I didn't want to so I just made the upgrade and that's it it's it's pretty perfect for me it's 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 really good anyways yeah I got Mafia 2 for uh, eight dollars and just a little quick shout out for Art Official I just rubbed it in his face yesterday I loved it <laughs> anyways my name's like game reviewer and if you have any comments on windows 10 or anything i just said go ahead go in this comment section and talk about it anyways see you later